This was my first time growing cut flowers. Now I've grown flowers before, annuals and perennials in flower beds and containers, but this was my first time growing them in my vegetable garden for the sole purpose of using as cut flowers. And I learned some important things along the way. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what my vegetable garden looked like with cut flowers growing in it. This year we had a very cold, very wet spring, which delayed getting plants in the ground. I'm in zone 6 and I should have been able to plant around mid-May, but we had snow clear till June. I still had a pretty successful garden, even if some of the things didn't get as large as they have in the past. I ended up with about every other row being flowers. It made my veggie garden so cheerful. I also noticed I had a lot more pollinators visiting my garden, especially bumblebees and hummingbirds. Beyond this last row of zinnias is my strawberry patch, artichokes, and the sunflowers. I knew that flower farmers used netting and ropes to secure some types of flowers. I even bought the netting, but when it came time to plant, I chose not to use it because I just don't like the look of it. I thought I'd try this first year without and just see what happens. The Cosmos were the only flowers that had issues and I will definitely use the net for them next year. I was really excited and surprised by how easy it was to grow the Billy Ball. Um, they are such a fun like Dr. Seuss um, type flower and I had never grown them before. I didn't know anyone who had grown them before so that was a fun surprise to see how well they did. I'm going to try and overwinter them because in warmer climates they are a perennial so I overwinter my artichokes and they do really well so I'm gonna try to do that. If they don't come back then I'm not out anything but I figure it's worth buying a tarp and giving it a shot. I have a few delphiniums and salvia in my flower beds that are blue and purple, but they do not bloom heavily throughout the whole season. They primarily bloom in the spring. I also discovered that I do not like the shade of purple that zinnias and globe amaranth come in. It's too magenta for my liking. It was hard for me to incorporate that color into floral arrangements. So I won't be growing them next year. I'll be planting more perennials, including cone flowers. I'm more drawn to peaches, soft pinks, and creams, so most are in that color scheme. It was really fun experimenting with different fillers and greenery. I used carrot tops. That was actually my the biggest surprise that I really liked. Um, they lasted really long in the vase. I don't know if that's a thing, if other people use carrot tops, but I really liked how they turned out. I used things like mint and oregano and all sorts of stuff from my herb garden and other greenery from around my yard, just whatever I had on hand. I'm going to be trying my hand at growing eucalyptus next year. I grew a few this year and they did really well, so I'm going to try to do an entire row of eucalyptus. I'm also going to be growing some Dusty Miller, a tall variety that will do well in the vase. So it's been really fun to experiment with different things in floral arrangements. So I'm still very new to this, but I've had a lot of fun with it. So in summary, I need to plant more blues and purples. Um, I'm going to be adding in some more perennials like those cone flowers I showed you, some roses, more delphinium, um, and things like that. I'm going to also be adding another flower bed that is near my vegetable garden that will pro primarily house the perennials and the vegetable garden will primarily be for the annuals um, with the exception of the cone flowers. So probably I will plant less zinnias even though they're my favorite. I just had gobs and gobs of of zinnias and more than I could have used on my own. So for right now, when I'm just using them for me and to give away and I'm not selling, I don't need as many zinnias as I planted this year. 
If you missed my video on indoor seed starting and would like to watch that, I'll add the link to the description below. Make sure to subscribe for more home and garden content.